Hello everyone, and welcome to my podcast. Today, we are with Harrison, and today we're going to talk about some stuff. I don't honestly know what we're going to talk about this Q&A. Oh, this uh, thing is not going to be too long. As you can see, it's very laggy gameplay. Yeah, so, like, it's at 12 like, FPS. Recording, like, recording these days is like garbage, like garbage, co- like, garbage, like, screening. So, uh, what do you oh, want to I- talk about today, Harrison? Um, we have a challenge for everyone who's listening to this podcast. If you, if you know Friday Night Funkin', if you don't, you might be living under a rock. You're definitely living but under a rock, or just have safe search on, which I yeah. do, but I know but, what it is. If you know, if you, probably everyone here knows it, we have a challenge for you. Don't go a whole day without talking about it, listening, watching it, or whatever. A whole day without... Friday Night Funkin' and see how it is, and comment down below how you did. Yeah, I'd like to see how well he did. And we're doing this as well. And hi, I am... Probably already know who I am. Yeah, right it's now. Harrison. He's in the thumbnail. What should we call this podcast? I don't know. The L and H podcast? No. Um... But... Let's talk. Yeah. Okay. I think for this podcast, the good thing should be, why is Sonic 06 so buggy? Like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Sonic 06. If you have been watching Sonic for at least, at least 15 years, or maybe the mind collapsed, well. Right. Yeah, I just rebuilt it. So, about Sonic 06? Yeah. Uh, if you've been listening to, if you've been watching Sonic for at least, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 years, you would know what Sonic 06 is. To be honest, I I don't get mad at the people who really like Sonic. I was never really old for Sonic 06. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. Well, 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 I Maybe even, uh, like, older. I grew up playing New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Oh my god, that was the best. That, that is nostalgic. You know, right disagree, but that was the best one for my time. But I'm not saying it's the best overall. There's been so many other games. There's better. one better uh, Mario game. I play it. 64. I, I used to play it a lot. I don't really play it anymore. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's either Mario 64 or Galaxy. No, I gotta say 64, Galaxy, and Sunshine, oh my god. That Sunshine, was oh my. I have my GameCube right behind me. Sunshine, Sunshine was a train wreck for me, to be honest. Yeah. I know a bunch of people are really pissed off about me, like, Why are you saying Mario Sunshine's a train wreck when it's my favorite game? Well, I mean... It's just very, like, when you, like, it's very... Controls are very... It, it's different. very limited when it comes to hardware. It is. I think the subject of this video, or this podcast, should just be video games in general. But, to be honest, it's... Where did you go? ...panics that you would need for no reason, when, like, Mario 64 kept, like, had mechanics, but it was easier to know. Where did you go? I'm trying to find you. Well, there's my horse. There you are. <laughs> well, it's a, what I'm trying to say is that sixty Mar, that Mario sixty four was my favorite, and Sunshine wasn't really that good. Well, I mean, I grew up playing Sunshine. I like the game. I I know what you're saying. For me, it's not really not really not the same for me. It's it's, it's not nostalgic. It's not nostalgic for me, like unless you're like a Mario fan from like exactly. that year. Mario 64 is the game what I played. I think my Even first though, like, Mario game was definitely uh, a uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Also, one of my other favorites is Paper, Paper Mario a Tha- of a Thousand Year Door. Oh, oh, I have that for my GameCube, actually. Maybe I we'll played. do a GameCube video. That was... Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door was amazing. Yeah. 
good. It was right, really it, good. It was good. Yeah. I would agree, honestly. Fine. Get to the surface. Okay. Yeah, it is... Fine, yeah, that was that's just my opinion. Doesn't mean that everyone else has to like it. Just, right, we're just saying our opinions on games. Yeah, video games have been a little, like, linear. Like... And they, in these recent years, it has been good, and it just, like, dropped of how games has been, have been recently. Like, Roblox. I would say, like, I don't know, Sonic Forces would be up for 06s. It's not a bad, like, it is a terrible story. Like, it's Sonic can defeat Infinite in, like, two seconds. But, like, come on. It is an okay game. I would give it my rating. Where where are we even going? I, I don't know. Uh, I say that um like Roblox. It was fun for like 2017, 2018, like 2019, maybe the beginning of 2020, and then Slenders. Slenders just pooped on it. Chipotle crashed the server. Well, I mean Chipotle it. didn't, but I know what you mean. Yeah, like had to go down for some days little kids that are that are slender start crying their pants and no pants sorry crying and all that i was kind of like this is actually kind of good even though we play because it roblox is kind of dying to be honest yeah i kind i get it i get it like this roblox game we're currently playing right now it's fun I mean, it is, it's like, it's, I would say it's, like, GTA, Minecraft, and Red Dead Redemption. Well, um, but mostly just, like, Red Dead Redemption because of the... Cover and stuff. But you can see that our server's pretty small. It doesn't mean that the game's bad. It's just a lot of people just left. Yeah. Because around this time, everyone's going to sleep. Like, it's currently, what? at the time of recording this... It is... Uh, it's nine. So, uh, yeah. Roblox is strange. It is. But one of my favorite, even though you might, not a lot of you might know this game, but Team Fortress 2. Oh my god. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of, I don't really know how to explain it. It's like a hat battle. It, it's basically, it's basically, uh, Fortnite, but better. No bad, no, like, no spending bad, like, no such thing as a battle pass. Yo, that kind of looks like the battle pass. You can still, like, in-game purchases, but instead of, like, people being, like, very toxic, like, Fortnite, it's, community's nice sometimes, but it's not, like, very toxic, like, other games. Yeah, I would agree. But the only problem, it's it's just kind of old, and a lot of things don't really work in it. Like playing crossover, like playing with friends, doesn't work very well. Yeah, I know what you mean. But it's been kind of it's it's still fun because it's not like a lot of like good people. If you like go into online matches, you don't even have to go into online matches. You can go off playing training mode, where you just play a fox. Like, the game's not like how Fortnite is, where you have to play online with other people. You can play, like, you can play by yourself. Yeah. And you don't have, and plus, with, the, with that game, you don't have to buy weapons from the Manco store. You can, you can unlock them sometimes. But enough with Team Fortress 2. More about, I'm like, other games. I'm you an idea. Of some games out there. There's not just Roblox and all those others you probably know already. Um, there's other games that people haven't played in so long. Uh, actually, um, um die, like Gmod. Most of those like old YouTube videos were with Gmod. That the game's fun because you can do whatever you want in it, really. Yeah, exactly. It has pretty much every character you would ever know. Including Pangu, if Pengu. any of you guys remember that. Pengu. I barely remember that. Oh my god, I remember him. He was that penguin that was always a menace. 
society. <laughs> he was a menace to society. That was no, deep. No, like, he would, he would be, like, very rude. No, no. Uh, I'm just saying there's more games than the games you're playing right now. I'm not saying there's any, there's nothing against your games that you're playing right now. It's just there's more. It's like, I don't know, uh, Sonic Heroes. Not the best and game. Also, but, like, it's a game to remember. Oh, and also, remember to, like, to be nice to other people as well. This is just a reminder to be nice to people. Unlike somebody. And it'll, and it'll, it'll be, it'll, it might seem very small, but it'll take you, it'll take you far in this world. Okay. Even this time, like, even through this, I don't really want to say Podcast. it, but, you know, the um, sickness. You should just the the thing that is ruining people's lives and making depression a just, thing again. Just make just do something nice, and now go far away in this world in time. I'll call it the Pengu of the world. That's the nickname now. So menace yeah. to society. Yeah, we're no, just gonna call it the Pengu, the Pengu virus. Even though not, even though not a lot of people are gonna see this, but remember just to keep. This is, knowing that you do something will change someone else's life. Like, you don't see me and Harrison arguing, do you? That's exactly what you I, should do. You shouldn't, I, I pfft, you shouldn't argue what I'm saying. It's like, I'm not pointing, I'm not pointing fingers, because that would just be, uh, like, hunting people, and like, I'm pointing them out, and like, I forget what the name is right now. Yeah. Targeting somebody, whatever. But like, there's somebody at my school, not, again, not saying names. Uh, there's somebody at my school, and he's rude, like, really rude. We tried to be friends. I tried to be friends with him. Who am I kidding? I tried to be friends with him, and he is just forcing me to do all these things. Like, forcing me to, like, if I don't do this, he'll tell my secret, because he knows it. But, but, that's not a real friend. Yeah, it's it not, exactly. Not friends with him. I'm not friends with him, exactly. But, I'm he's... doing this weird thing. I don't know how I'm doing it, I don't know how I'm fooling him, unless he's watching this video. If you're watching this video, here, um, your name, I'm not gonna say it, I was about to, but, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. Okay, I'll be right back, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Anyway, yeah, exactly. It's like, I have a bunch of friends. It is weird. Well, he's not a friend. But, I mean, like, you get what I mean. It's like, he is half of a friend. He's not even a friend. But, I tried to be friends with him, and I don't know how I'm doing this, but he thinks I'm his friend. And, like, I'm disguising it all when behind his back, it's exactly like the movies. I'm, I'm lying to him. It's it's like a white lie. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah, friendships are weird. Especially mine. Like, being on YouTube and everything kind of ruins, like... I wouldn't say, like, me. Definitely not me. I'm not popular. Or at least in the time of this recording, I'm probably never going to be, but, like... If you ever get pointed out in public, it's really, I wouldn't say easy to make friends, because there's probably a lot of people, but, like, it's easier, but I'm not saying you should, like, brag about it, if you are, but, like, it's easier, I'm going to say that. I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's like, I don't know. You're not, okay, it's like this. Let's say you're not thirsty, but you want water. You get it? You're, um, you have the water and you feel refreshed, except you feel a little, like, fuller. But you didn't get the, the drink that you wanted to. So, you can, like, see, there you go. I don't really have anything to say. We will be right back after... Well, it's, it'll be like a short second, but like, you get it. I'll be back.
Anyway, that was probably a split of a second for you viewers, but like, I was gone for a little bit. And like, the water thing, like um, I just said. I'll be right back, I gotta go AFK for a bit. Okay. You were just AFK. Anyway. It's like, like I just did. I drank the water. I wasn't too thirsty, but my, my uh, throat was dry. So, you might not be thirsty. It's like being not famous. You might not be thirsty, but your throat is dry, so that's a good thing to get it. And, like, it's a good reward, and, like, you should live up to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, like, if you get it, you feel... I wouldn't say rewarded more than just... You feel better. It's like being famous. It's like you're you maybe not be famous, but you post your first YouTube video. You might not get famous, but I mean it's the reward that you get from the content that you push out. It's really good. You, I would say you should try being a YouTuber. It's hard. Trust me, it's hard to be a YouTuber. Maybe you might be able to try. I don't know. Try it yourself. It's. I don't know, it's complicated, but like, try being a YouTuber, you might have fun, but like, media is way, like, completely different, it's like, the YouTube algorithm is really weird, push out a video, and it doesn't go on the YouTube recommended, but then you push out a really low quality video, and it gets on there, just like these two videos that I'm showing on the screen right now, and then this one, which is just a short, it's like, they're... They're not supposed to be good, in the sense, like, I didn't put that much effort into them. Well, I did put effort into the Imagine Sonic one, but, like, you get it. It's so, like, you don't put effort into the videos that you think are not gonna get popular, but then they get, like, hundreds of views. This is what being a YouTuber is like. It's hard to push out videos that people will see. And this comment, I, I, this is what it translates to, but, like, I don't see the resemblance. I don't know. I don't really know, honestly. Like, media is weird. It's like, you you record a video, and it's like, I look very similar to you. And it's like, do you know what I look like? Or you just get confused. It's like you make a YouTube avatar. You don't show your face, but people say, I look like you. You get really confused, because then you don't know if they're talking about real life you or your YouTube avatar. You get confused, or at least I do, and I don't know what to do. Does he know me in real life? Do I? Well, he's, uh, I don't want to, like, offend anyone that actually speaks this language, but I'm pretty sure it's Spanish. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Spanish, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Spanish, but, like, I'm confused. Sir, if you were to, well, I don't even know if you speak English, but if you do, please comment in this video why... You honestly look like me. I'm confused. Sorry, I'll be gone for a little bit. Why? Okay. Well, uh... Yeah, it's weird. It's like... You don't really know what you're doing. You are standing in place trying to figure out what good YouTube videos to push out and then you honestly don't know. Yeah. So that's my thoughts on it. It's it's really weird. You could try being a YouTuber. I wouldn't like expect to be famous in the last in like the first two videos or anything, but like you could try. It's fine. There we go. Yeah, YouTube is weird, what can I say? Well, um, I think that's it. I don't know. It's not really anything to talk about. I mean, yeah, this is just a short podcast. I'll post a long one later, I guess. I don't know. Maybe this is not the end. It's probably not. So I have a YouTube video planned. It's not going to be like these ones or uh, like any. It's barely going to be anything game related. Mostly gonna be about reviews and stuff. I'm changing my channel, I tell you. It'll be completely different. Like, I'm going to, like, change the way I say it. I'm not gonna say subscribe anymore, because I know that's annoying. I'm not 
going to do anything about like YouTube algorithm or any, like the video or share or anything, I think you could do that yourself. You, if you like the video, you could. I'm not telling you to. You could yourself. I don't have to tell you to do it. To do it. If you like it, you can. But I'm not like this is not like tell I'm not telling you to right now, but like if someone tells you to like the video, what do you do? Do you? Or do you just ignore it? They shouldn't tell you that because you might get less likes. There's this one YouTuber I found. Uh, his, he's right here. His name is Peter Knetter. I like his stuff. He makes good videos. What I like about it, fun, well, first, he's funny. And second of all, he doesn't tell you to do anything with YouTube. Like, like it, doesn't tell you to subscribe. It's good. What can I say? It's way better to, like, not tell them to so they can do it themselves if they like it. So if they like it, they can just do it themselves and not have to be told to. It's like, it's like, okay, it's like you're doing the dishes and your mom tells you to do the dishes even though you're already doing it. Then you don't want to do it anymore. It's like when people, it's like that. It's like people will tell you subscribe when you want to, and now you suddenly don't want to. It's like with the like and stuff. But if you don't, you have a higher chance of getting people to like. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm putting this horse here, it's because, uh, well, if you're even watching the video, which, there, there is a video on here, but, uh, the reason why I'm putting the horse there is so I memorize where I was. But, uh, anyway, nothing game related right now, unless I'm talking about it. As you can see, you, I'm starting to reveal stuff, and it's a little weird. But, uh, it's good to release this stuff. Oh yeah, I got a new computer, if you're asking. And a new microphone. Uh, yeah. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on with the media this year, and the Xbox Series X and the PS5 grab. Oh my god. If you tried to pick up a PS5 yourself or an Xbox Series X on, let's say, Best Buy, you, you go and you add it to cart, right? Go to the checkout, and it's gone. Or, this has happened to us before, we get to it, it's not sold out. And, it's like we're waiting for it to, like, be sold, like, start selling. So, like, it says pre-order and stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm saying, I might be a little while. Oh. Wait, did everyone leave? What do you mean? Well, no one's in the, no one's in the game. Yeah. That's fine, that makes it can, easier. We can rob everything now. You wanna do that? Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna need to go a little bit longer, but when I come back, we can. Wait, why do you have to go? I have to go for a second. Okay. BRB. Well, I'm talking about stuff. So anyway, yeah, exactly what I was saying. I don't remember what I was saying, actually. <laughs> I, I'm starting to have a brain fart now. Uh, oh god. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh boy. Yeah, this is- oh, I'm losing green cells by the minute. It's like- It's not- it's almost ten. I'm, I think I'm losing my mind. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I'll talk about something else then. But, uh, yeah, video games are weird. Oh boy, I'm starting to run out of ideas. You know, I don't remember what I was saying anymore. It's gone. It's completely gone. I don't remember anything I was saying. Oh, that sucks. I do not remember what I was saying. It's strange. Whew. Anyway, I guess I'll talk about something else. So, uh, media. Like I was saying earlier, uh, telling people to subscribe is a little annoying. So anyone who's watching this video that maybe has a good subscriber count, more than 100 subscribers or something, stop saying subscriber like. They can do it themselves if they like it. So, uh, that's just some advice. You don't have to do it. You don't even have to listen to anything I'm saying. It's just my kind of 
idea, I guess. I don't know. It's a little weird. But, uh... Microtransactions. You've seen them. You've heard of them. Mine coins, Robux, V-Box, um... Money in, uh, Team Fortress 2. Yeah, you've seen it. It's weird. Microtransactions are expensive. Well, not expensive, but, like, I guess m enough money to where you spend it once and the next thing you know, it's gone. It's like my Robux count right now. It's currently at, like, 400 or something. I had 2,021, I think. Oh, 2,221, I think. I don't remember the exact numbers, but, like, it was gone in, like, a day. You see how microtransactions are like that? It's like you buy it, but you don't have it for that long, if you think about it. Unless you really want to save up. But, like, I don't know. Most people don't do that. But if you do, that's good. So, I wouldn't say it's a healthy habit and not a bad habit any way, but it's better. It's, like, better than most things. Like, at least you're not getting addicted to microtransactions or anything, like I do. Oh yeah, I am addicted to it, mostly. I don't think I'm addicted. Get back. You need more time? Yeah, sorry. Um, don't leave, I'll be back. Okay, where, where are you going? I'm receiving, I have to go for a bit, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, uh, why do you need to go? I just, I just need to, I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Anyway. Um, what were you saying? I was talking about microtransactions. Okay. Um, you can, t I can, you can tell me all when I'm, when I'm back. Okay. BRB. Anyway, yeah. Microtransactions. Mm -hmm. No, the time when I start moving, that's me just coming back in to move me so I don't get kicked. Oh. Yeah, microtransactions, it's like you buy it, you don't have it for that long. You get, not addicted to it, more it's just a habit. It's a habit of buying it over and over and over and over again. Until it's gone. You don't have any money. I'm not saying, like, you're poor after you buy some money, but, like, you realize you spent so much money on these coins, in-game coins. Or IGC. I'll call it IGC for now. You spend it on these IGCs or these microtransactions or these art uh, MTs. You, sp you spend it on these MTs or I'll just call it uh, uh, IGC. You spend your money on these IGCs, but you don't like you spend a lot of money on these IGCs. But, like, it's a lot of money for only these in-game coins that barely even get you anything that benefit you in real life. Unless it's, like, um, NFTs. Don't, don't buy NFTs. Do not buy NFTs. And definitely do not buy any Dogecoin. Well, definitely buy Dogecoin. Definitely do that. But do not buy any Bitcoin. Maybe? No, you can buy Bitcoin. But, you know the things that you pay for NFTs? Don't pay for that stuff. It's- there's no point. NFTs suck. Do not buy them. It's- it's gonna ruin your life. You're gonna have an addiction for like 12 years. I never did. But I mean, it's possible. Don't. Don't buy NFTs. Definitely don't buy the Red Oak Family. It sucks. Animation's bad. I can make that animation in two days. Or two minutes. But, like, yeah, don't buy NFTs. Microtransactions can get you, or IGCs can get you very, like, habits and addiction. So, maybe don't buy so much money on your Robux, V-Bucks, Minecoins. Uh, just don't. Don't spend too much. Limit yourself. You'll feel better about your bank. Or maybe you're just getting it for Christmas or your birthday. Maybe you cleaned your room. And now your mom is paying for it. But, like, still, it's not your money. Unless your parents are, like, like, 
I wouldn't say very wealthy, more than they just have more money than uh, normal uh, 9 to 5 people. But, like, almost that. And even that, it's spending your money on these IGCs. And, like, I don't know. It's just don't too much. You can, I do, but not too much. Limit yourself. Maybe, like, put, I don't know, only like $25 into it, maybe even 15 maybe even less, maybe only a dollar, <laughs> maybe not a dollar, not a dollar, uh, it won't buy you really anything, but like, limit yourself, It'll, you'll feel better on your bank, uh, on your bank account, you'll have more money to spend on real life, like food, or drinks, uh, furniture, TVs, games, you'll, you'll see if you do it, it's very good, limit yourself. Maybe it's your first time getting it, that's fine. You don't really have to limit yourself on that, but like, if you continuously do it, it's not healthy. At least too much. But like, microfin- or IGCs, don't spend all your money on them. It, you'll feel better. Okay, moving the subject to YouTube. Okay. YouTube is confusing. Algorithm confusing. Like I already said earlier. But if you want to make a good video, I have no advice for you. You'll find out randomly and you'll get into a rhythm. I haven't yet. You'll you'll get into a rhythm in a couple of years, maybe even a couple of months, like Dreamvid or Tommy in it or I don't know, other people. You'll find a rhythm. You'll keep that rhythm, maybe even change a few ideas, but still keeping the rhythm idea. You'll get into a rhythm where, I haven't found my rhythm yet, but you'll get into a rhythm where you will find out how to make good content. Well, I you still make good content. But like, what, the viewer watching this, if you have a YouTube channel, you still make good content, unless it's the guy. I was talking about earlier. The guy that I can't say his name because of privacy. And I don't want to attack him. But, I mean, like, you can, like, oh god, I'm starting to forget. Okay, okay, it's about YouTube. It's about algorithm. Okay, I remember now. You'll get into a rhythm. You'll find out how to make these good content. Maybe you'll even switch up some things. You will find out how to get in that rhythm, I promise. When you find that rhythm, you'll get, I wouldn't say popular more than, you'll be well, you'll be more known, maybe even more popular than you used to be. You'll get, ga you'll gain subscribers, view counts will go up. You'll have a fun time. Trust me, when I got that first Imagine Sonic video, or one of them, the, ox the, uh, accelerant one on 400 views, or a hundred, when it got to a hundred views, I was, like, surprised. I was very excited. That, I haven't found the rhythm of my YouTube yet, but I mean, that's a good point. I've got Fortnite Funk, and, like, it, like, it does well. I don't want to do Fortnite Funk videos sometimes. I want to do Fortnite Funk videos sometimes. Like, I don't mind doing them ever so often, every so often, but, like, Maybe not so much as I I am. I don't know. It's weird. Oh yeah, I also have OBS back, so uh, mm -hmm. so uh, it's like Friday Night Fun Funkin' videos. I don't. I would say I'm having fun with them, like I am, but like I'm limiting myself in how many Friday Night Funkin' videos I'm doing. I'm doing a lot. But like, unless you have a channel dedicated to just games, or just Friday Night Funkin itself, I limit myself. Maybe you should too. Well, maybe not, because it's so popular, but like, don't do too much. Well, I, well, I like Friday Night Funkin videos, just watching them, but like, making them, I do, but like, I don't know, it's confusing. Friday Night Funkin is hurting people, uh, my brain, 
And like, we all thought this Halloween people would dress up as Friday Night Funkin' characters. I haven't seen a single one. To be honest. I haven't seen one. I think that's better. Maybe other people have. I haven't. But like, it's better. At least I don't see people rap battling at my door. I've saved myself. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Hello! Anyway. So, as I was saying about Friday Night Funkin', there's a lot of these. I was thinking about, uh, Harrison. I was talking about Friday Night Funkin' and how we thought people were gonna rap out at our door this Halloween. I haven't yeah. seen a single one, honestly. I think I'm safe in that area. But, like, maybe other people have. No, that happened. I haven't seen any of my friends have that problem, or anything. No, I haven't. No. Me neither. So, uh, you wanna go rob the, the bank? I think it's kinda of funny that, like, a bunch of people are like, Oh my god, these kids are gonna dress up like, front and like, fucking characters are gonna be rap at one. Okay, they let's go to the exit. One. I dressed up like one, and I didn't rap battle on people's doors. Yeah, I I like Friday Night Funkin. I think it's a good game. I think it's a good rhythm game. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not obsessed like how people are sometimes. Ooh. Well, I mean, I am obsessed with Mario. If anyone that's a friend of mine that watches my videos and has walked into my room for at least one second, you would know that. I it, well, including Harrison. Yeah. Harrison, coming out here, we gonna rob the bank. Yeah, I'm, I'm going already. I'm going to Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed? Okay. Oh, I see you on the map. So, as I was saying, Friday Night Funkin' water. is frying people's heads. Somebody is charting the entire Shrek movie. Like, it's like, it's like having a whole list of the B-movie, all the words in the B-movie. <laughs> or it's like, Saying every line in Lord of the Rings. That's gonna take you a long time. That's gonna take you days. One of my favorite, well, you want know the one thing I want? I want a poster of the whole script of the B movie. You want a what? I want the whole, I, I want a photocopy picture of the oh my God. script of the B movie. Uh, that printer is going to ex implode. <laughs> it's going to suck itself party. in and. It's gonna yeah, suck I itself know, in know, out of existence. The the printer is going to like suck itself out of existence. No, I'm not at Tumbleweed, sorry. I'm at um Grey Ridge. Oh, I'm at Tumbleweed. Wait for me there. No, no one's gonna stop us. Wait, like, pretty much no one's gonna stop us. We're fine. This is why I like being by this being by yourself in this. No Just one's here to stop here. us. Rob more. I'll this grab is, all I want. Good. This is how we can get all the good weapons. We gotta do this, it quickly. Yeah. So we can get all the good weapons. We can get all the good weapons so we can fuck this um uh, so you don't get killed by those people all the time. Okay, I'm heading back to the quarry. Okay, um, I'm just robbing. Nice. Um, three. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar, no, Papa. Yes, Papa. <laughs> I did the ending where he actually admits, like, I'm eating sugar. Liam, Liam, how much money do you have? Three bags full. I have, I have 188. <laughs> Liam, leave him, Liam, Liam, do you have any money? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. 25 bags full. No, let's talk about TikTok. It's a menace to society. You see what it has done to our kids these days? 
Don't you agree, guys? Die, dear! Anyway, you were saying? I saw about TikTok. Yeah, it's TikTok nice is a design. whole other thing. Why? Why? Explain to me why. Why, why does it like TikTok... Uh, it's a mix between yes, and it's also a mix between no. I've seen some things that on that app that scares me. TikTok has got some weird things, I tell you. Mm-hmm. Well, there's also fun things on it. I mean, Quentin Sussy, oh my god. Oh my god, that dude's a legend. Uh, not likely he would watch this, but if you are, you're a legend, dude. You have given me heaven. Yes. In the best terms as I can say. Through these dark times, you have helped many people. And I bow down to you, legend. Oh, I have to go to an outlaw shop now. Nah, laser beam. Just think about, like, laser beam. He's, a, he's like, a great YouTuber. I haven't watched him in years. Oh my god, he's hilarious still. Even though I, I played Fortnite, I really liked Fortnite, but it kind of went downhill. Like, it's sad to see and say that Fortnite went downhill. Spooder man in Fortnite. What can I say? I've got a knife. What am I gonna do with this knife? Why I say I'm gonna get demonetized. Well, look out. Here comes my knife in your head. I'm kidding. Uh, you like jazz? <laughs> there, I helped you. I'm going to Fort Cassidy. Never, never say I did anything for you. Go to Fort Cassidy. I'm hunting a bear. Nice. Anyway, we were saying about TikTok. TikTok has ruined uh, my life and also blessed it. It's blurst. TikTok oh. is blurst. Uh, it's blessed and cursed at the same time. I remember like Vine. What happened to Vine? Vine is literally the king of media. Yeah. That was before like TikTok and all that. What happened to Vine? It's dead. You can't access anything anymore, I don't think. Yeah. Well, it's just sad to- it's, like, sad to see that, like, a such a good thing just died. Just got up and died. Yeah, it's just dead. Well, now, like, imagine all those people whose jobs were to do that. Job, like, not job, but like, like, you know, like, like did it for like fun. Yeah, and not but just steal people's content and duet it. Yeah, it's not like now people like people will just take content for it, saying like, oh, it's mine, it's mine, it always has been mine. When you could see in the corner saying made by the original person, like. Okay, you wanna know what really annoys me? There's this person on TikTok, I forget what his name is, but he claims to voice the guy who plays the Raku the uh, Rocket Raccoon uh, uh, text-to-speech. Yeah. When obviously, I know who plays the, the text-to-speech actor. Who? The actor who plays in Guardians of the Galaxy. Is that guy oh. literally crazy? I'm not going to say stupid, because that's what I mean. But, like, the worst part of her TikTok, when girls dancing gets 10,000 10, likes, when someone actually making good content gets, like, like maybe 100 likes and 200 views, and that's really it. It's not fair to small content creators like me and Liam. We make actually good content, I would say. Yeah, we actually make like our own content and not just we then not us just doing the renegade that died like I don't know. Two years I don't like on saying the renegade, but it could just be me. But I just don't understand why people are like yeah, going boy. over like oh my god, 
like now like everyone's about like dream and simping about him what what about simping about some dude that screams on his mic probably doesn't get up and do exercise and wears a mask and probably i wear a mask it, like, he's not even like, funny. He's just, like, annoying. Okay, me. go watch Dream, then go watch Peter Kinnetter, come back, and see the difference. Like, but even, like, you go watch Dancing Again, he actually makes good content. Okay, and here is the, the craziest thing, okay? I showed my mom Dream. When I was obsessed with Dream, which only lasted about two days. Okay. Oh, God. Only two days, okay? Uh, you wanna know why? I was literally hit no uh like hypnotized by my sister. Cause you just you just want to be like you want to be the best you want to be like a good brother. Yeah, and, and now she's she's literally brainwashed. Yeah, like what is it about a blonde I'm not making fun of George, but I'm saying what is a Blind dude and a dude who's pretty much like thirty years old behind behind um, a computer monitor. Oh, and in Tommy in it, who's legit thirteen, not th not even thirteen, like he's sixteen. Pretty young, well sixteen. I'm probably. older than him. Ha ha. And take this. People are drawing fan art about him. Like he's sixteen. I'm twelve and a half. I'm older than him. Ha ha. And take that. Legit, I could I could beat him up. He, he might be a tall guy, but not compared to my muscles. I have nothing. No, like, no. And he is skin. Skin and bones, I tell you. He is. He's just skin and bones. I know we're sounding negative, but still, just... If you if you don't know what they are, go to their channels, look at them for a bit, and you'll understand what we're talking about. Our... Even TikTok, there's videos about Dream and George simping and all that. But I'm, I'm fine with some of it, but some of, some people take it way too far. Okay, here's some crazy thing. So my parents will only laugh at actually good stuff. And yeah. here's the thing. Peter Kinnetter has taken the trophy. Oh. Peter Kinnetter is such a good YouTuber. Pretty much any other YouTuber is good. Like, Peter Kinnetter actually makes my my mom and dad laugh, which is really hard to do. But, like, Dan, he's kid-friendly, doesn't swear. Well, back then, but now, because he's a father, he can't really do things like that. But he's more kid-friendly than they will ever be. I and love Dan. Not, like, love, love Dan TDM. Yeah, I like his content. Listen to me. So, so you're telling me Dream has a thousand... Like a thousand million live followers, I mean, subscribers. He has like, he only uh, 26 like million? 27? Like, when like Dan worked his butt off for like, for 18 years or so, just to get blown out of the water by someone who's not even good. And apparently, Jack Septisai has already Jack been. Huh? Apparently, Jack Septisai has just been uh, passed, uh -oh. surpassed Contact by Dream. Contact deleted. Uh oh. Watch out, there's a person here. Let's get out of here. Quickly, get on the horse. Where is he, anyways? Oh, he's at Gray. He's at Gray Ridge. This is fine. Okay, I'll be out here. But, like, wait, like, just, like, why? Just. How long have we been recording for? I don't know, to be honest. Well, anyway, I think these these are good podcasts. This is not where we ended, though. Honest, there's, there's a lot more that we could do in this generation than just behind screen. But well, what am I talking about? I'm, I'm doing... I think this things. podcast series should be called Harrison and Liam Break Down the Internet. But for real, just think about it. Like, no one deserves to see things like that. Like, yeah. even the internet. Like, to be honest, the internet. Yeah. We are discovering things that people would never think of, honestly. I think this series should even be like, about us breaking down the internet. Like when the internet first came, I don't think anyone expects for... 
let's just say mm, not uh, something not good for the internet to happen. Like you don't want that. You don't want to see things. To be honest, but it's just been like very hard recently, and it doesn't need to be harder by seeing things you don't want to see. Let us sit for the past for just a few seconds and just leave this mortal world. Yes, I know the footage is laggy, but that's not the point. It's the audio. Now, we wish you to have a good la rest of 2021, unless you're watching this in the future, which, hello future, yeah. how are you? Anyway... Let's hope it gets better then. Goodbye. No more subscribing. I'm, well, well, you can still subscribe, but like, no more saying subscribing, no more saying liking, no more saying sharing. I'm done with that stuff. I'm currently with Harrison and me. This is me and Harrison, Break Down the Internet. I will see you next time.